You do realize, Stephen, we're in this situation because of you. So what do you suggest? Tell me. Oh, wait. I know. I've got it. There is a way we can put a stop to all this. All we need to do is find the tooth of a baby crocodile, the blood of a pigeon, and the pubes of a virgin. And then we just have to burn them all before sunset. Let me see. Do we have any spare teeth lying around? Teeth, pubes, no nope, nothing here. Let me see. Do we have any hair, pubes, teeth? That's Nicole Kidman and Colin Farrell in the filling of a sacred deer. When you're, um... <laughs> Do you ever feel guilty when you're shooting a movie? How many takes, for instance, did, did that take? Uh, that, it... destroying the kitchen and yeah. people cleaning it up after you. Yeah, people have to clean it up. Absolutely feels horrendously wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I pretend not to see it. <laughs> it's, uh, that's how cowardly I am. It's extra pressure that's because you're cowardly. like, oh, I just threw stuff all over the floor. Yeah, without other any people have to regard get it. for anyone else's time or energy. Um, three takes. Three takes? Yeah. Not bad not at all. Not too bad. I think three takes. The director of this movie uh, directed you in Puts The Lobster. Twitter, Colin Farrell, you liar. It was 13 <laughs> takes. Director, yeah. Which I thought, was a, I, I thought that was a great movie. What is this movie about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not still quite, not quite, I've seen it twice. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Um, it's about, a, I play a, a heart surgeon, a cardiothoracic surgeon who loses somebody on his table and and years later the, the son of the person comes back to seek uh, revenge because i was drinking perhaps a little bit more than anyone should be drinking which is of course a drop is drinking more than anyone should be drinking performing cardiothoracic surgery right, right. so it's a tale of revenge and it's a tale of of uh, loss and suffering and i'm really selling the <laughs> <out of it. laughs> the people are leaving up to go and buy their tickets now stop come back we still we're not going to <laughs> It sounds interesting. But it's, you know what, it's, it's, no, it's so bleak. Um, oh, it's bleak. It's bleak. What have but people's reactions been to the film? Divisive. Uh, really? Yes, an absolute work of, of maddening genius and uh, not worth the film that it was printed on. Do and people, your friends will say, like, I loved it or I didn't no, love it? No, I'll have some friends, I'll go, oh, Jesus, man, what was that even about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, they go like, I mean, again, it's probably art and all that, but when are you doing SWAT 2? <laughs> um, and then I have some friends that, some friends that just want to talk about it and ask questions about it. And the director of the film, to be honest with you, I, I feel, and it's, uh, of course, as many people have said, it's an overused word, but I feel he is, he is a, a genius of sorts in his own way, and he's a very unique filmmaker. So the things that he makes tend to be incredibly provocative. Yeah. And, and he's very generous in that he doesn't, taint the films with his own ideology or philosophy. He sets forth a very unusual and very kind of upsetting at times set of dynamics and circumstances and lets the audience come to their own conclusions about what is morally or ethically right or wrong or... And is there any possibility he will direct Swap 2? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'd better that than a sequel to this thing because I was depressed. <laughs> I was depressed by the end of this. Well, good. Uh, Christmas is coming, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, cheer yeah. up, Colin. It's Thank gonna you, be man. okay. Colin Farrell, the killing of a sacred year. Is he still as young? Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.